is getting hot in here So hot, so take off all your clothes I am getting so hot I wanna take my clothes off It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler He's your only black friend So he's your best black friend I wouldn't trade him for another black friend Because black friends are rare as you should be aware He smiles like Richard Pryor So just sit and stare it's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. There is a very good reason why I have no shirt on right now. For starters, it's like so hot. Like insanely hot right now. Like it's just so blazing hot. And number two, because Gavin McGinnis made a video talking about masculinity and feminism. Now typically, I make videos calling out feminists and their bullshit, however, I do believe that non-feminists should be called out for their bullshit too. That is not to say that there's no legit criticism of feminism, however, there are some people that make really bad arguments. So let's keep a score count of legitimate points by both non-feminists and feminists. So let's begin. I've noticed that women in matriarchies are particularly cruel. Like this little 16-year-old girl who said, I don't know if I believe in feminism, is getting nothing but vitriol. And it's not like they want to convert her to their side. They want to kill her. They want to rape her. Jesus Christ, this is annoying. But that screenshot is not from feminists at all. I am not a feminist or tolerant. Go die, whore. If you're going to claim that feminists are giving that girl death stress, then provide citations. I mean, why do you think they only had pro-choicers at the Women's March? Maybe the reason why they're not invited is because pro-lifers tend to attack reproductive rights. Just this year, the GOP in Texas proposed a bill that will force women to bury their aborted fetus. There was also another bill proposed by the GOP, which will force women not to get an abortion unless the man says it's okay for it to happen. But hey, feminists should not care about that issue. Like, it's like the biggest non issue ever we have equality in this country let's start enjoying it and being normal human beings for a change if we truly had equality just why the hell did you say this earlier there's a brutal suicide rate going on with males especially white males and uh, it's linked to opioids and cirrhosis of the liver but i think it all comes from depression and i think it all comes from a lifetime of being told you suck you said it yourself guys are not equal to women in regards to the law. This right here is classic double sink. We have equality for men and women, even though we don't have equality for men and women. But hey, both feminists and non-feminists get points for this. Both feminists and non-feminists make some really good points. However, we need to call out the bullshit from both sides. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.